but what's affected when it comes to the foot of the horse it is the is, yes please if you don't mind is actually the lamina and, and the bone that comes to play within the hoof capsule itself is the coffin bone that you can see that comes to a point here and this coffin bone is attached to the hoof wall the outer part and the sole of the hoof capsule itself by the lamina and, and this is the white area that we see in and around the coffin bone itself uh, and in the lamina are, are, are finger like projections that from the hoof wall grow inward uh, and that's what we refer to as the insensitive lamina and then we also have lamina that's growing outward from the coffin bone to the hoof wall and that becomes our sensitive lamina and so where those come together we can refer to that as a zipper like velcro mm. and the stronger the bond that we have there uh, the, the stronger uh, is what we're shooting for there and of course in a case of laminitis what's compromised is the blood flow to the foot itself because with laminitis we have extreme inflammation within this hoof capsule and what that does is that diminishes or that cuts off the uh, blood supply especially at the the back uh, of the the foot itself uh, and, and the main artery that's feeding this is called the digital artery mm -hmm. and of course with this extreme capsule at the coronary band that collapses that and so the first part of the foot that wants to die if we go too long without sufficient blood supply is actually the end of the toe right there and so, we can actually see this blackened area right there itself so uh I know, for, you know, for example, your specific horse actually has right there on the toe. Absolutely. And it seems to be kind of a consistent problem with those laminate horses. Well, and, and nine times out of ten, we're going to end up with wall separation wall there separation. in the toe itself. Right. Sure. And uh, and we do actually have some uh, some wall separation in this particular foot here. Of course, this is from two different horses here. Uh, and this is actually a normal foot on this side. Uh, this is actually a foundered foot on this side right here. And, and when we say that a horse has foundered, we actually have movement or rotation of this coffin bone itself within that hoof capsule. So if you look at the normal foot here, if you look at the top of the coffin bone in relationship to the hoof wall, they're parallel. So you can have a horse with laminitis that hasn't yet foundered. That's correct. Is that correct? I know so, that's a kind of a common thing is my horse is foundered and yet, you know, there has been no x-rays and, and... That's exactly right. Sure. So if we look at the foundered foot itself, if we look at the, the top of the coffin bone here in relationship to the hoof wall, we can see how much rotation or drop actually took place in that foot. Thing. Especially when you compare it to the healthy hoof versus the laminitis. Sure. Course. And of course, laminitis should be treated as an emergency by all means. In fact, the quicker that we can reduce the swelling within the hoof capsule and get the blood supply back to the hoof capsule, the quicker the re recovery time and the less damage and the the, the usefulness of the horse is going to be prolonged if we can do that then.